In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Collections in Google Docs. Google Collections are a brilliant way to organise your Google Docs, and in particular, a great way to manage your shares. First off, you need to open your Documents page. Now, what we're trying to do here is share Worksheet 2 with a, a group of English students. Now, there's an easy way of doing this. But what we're trying to do is show you a more efficient way that will help you manage the process in future. So what I've done here is just opened Worksheet 2 as you usually would do. And now if we go over to Share, which is where you would usually choose who you want to share the item with. Click in here. You'll notice that at the minute it's only shared with you, the creator of the item. Now... Normally what we would do is uh, click down onto Add People here and we could either type 7A1, which is the English group we want to share with, or we could type an individual student's name. So here's Megan Fisher. And usually you would type in the people that you want to share the document with and then would go to Can Edit or Can View to just set the permissions and privileges of what they're allowed to do to that document. But that's not what we're going to do here, so we're going to do it using collections. So we'll just cancel that for now. I'll just uh, close this document for now. Now, back on your documents page, what we need to do is check the little box next to the correct document. So here is Worksheet 2. Once that's done, we click the Organize folder that will appear above your documents. This is where we choose what folder we want to move it to. So we'll just click Year 7 English, 7A1 Homework, and Apply Changes. And now you should see confirmation that the item has been added to 7A1 Homework, which is a collection. We'll click back into the document. Now, if you remember before, Worksheet 2 didn't actually have any shares apart from the owner. Now we see there as 7A1 English, the group, which can view this, this document. Now if you take a look on the left of your documents page, you should see Year 7 English, which is under My Collections. If we click into Year 7 English, click the arrow to see the subfolders, you'll see 7A1 Homework. Now what we need to do is right click that, go to Share, and Share again, and this will display the permissions, the sharing permissions for that specific folder. And as you can see, the 7A1 English group can view anything within this folder. So what has happened is we have placed a document within that collection without any sharing permissions and it is automatically inherited sharing permissions from the collection itself. This is a, a terrific way to keep shares organised and keep documents organised because you don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over in putting permissions on a document for a certain group or a certain set of people. We can just use a collection and set the permissions to the collection.